everyone, my name is Freya and welcome to my broom closet. Today I want to talk about coming out of the broom closet. I really didn't create my channel to encourage people to outwardly lie to and deceive their loved ones and people around them. Honestly it is just as important to talk about coming out of the broom closet as well as staying in the broom closet. I know from personal experience that being a broom closet witch can feel really inauthentic and not expressing your true self in front of others. After a while, after many months and years of living in secret, this can become really soul crushing and quite sickening to the soul. You have to be true to yourself, so having to hide a whole aspect of your personality and your life, it can put a lot of stress on your mind and your body as a whole. Because of this, some broom closet witches make the decision to come out. But how do you come out? Should you come out? And what will happen if you do? Keep watching this video to find out more. Unfortunately, there is no straightforward answer to this, as it does depend a lot on the context and the personalities of the people that you are wanting to come out to, but I will give as much advice as I possibly can based on my own experiences and what I have read from people online. So the first question you want to ask yourself is, are you ready to come out? Basically ask yourself, are you sure in yourself that you are a witch and this isn't just a phase in your life that you'll pick up and put down? Will you regret coming out because later in life witchcraft isn't something you identify with anymore? So this is a really important question to ask yourself if you are a teen witch. The reason why I say it's important to ask yourself this as a teen is because your personality is really susceptible to change. And yes, this is a really tough pill to swallow, but it can be the case sometimes. Um, young people will pick up and put down stuff as they are developing. The second question you'll wanna ask yourself is, uh, are you able to answer any questions that someone might have? for you being a witch. So some people can ask the most basic questions or downright embarrassing questions or cringy questions. So just make sure that you are ready to answer those questions. There's like basic questions about your practice, what you believe in and things like that. So basically you are probably ready to come out if you are an adult, you have been practicing witchcraft for quite a long time, maybe um, a couple years at least, and you can confidently answer any questions about witchcraft, and being a witch is really part of your identity and part of your life. The second main question you wanna ask yourself is, who are you coming out to? If you're thinking about coming out to work colleagues or classmates at your school, this is probably not a good idea. Not only because people might think you're weird or quirky or whatever mean things people w might think about you. It is mostly because it's likely to be inappropriate to come out to these people. No one at your workplace or school needs to know your spiritual practices. They don't need to know your religious views on something. If no one asked, then you don't need to say anything. You can like say, something about your spirituality if it comes up in a conversation but this probably won't happen a lot at work as i know from experience this can be super awkward and people might judge you if you're wanting to come out to a close friend then just be cautious with this do you wholly trust this person? Do you know if they can keep a secret? Are they going to change their attitude towards you and treat you differently after you've told them this information? The reason why I bring this question up is this actually happened to me. Like I had a friend that I was quite close with and our friendship dynamic just kind of changed after I told them that I was into witchcraft. So this is really important question to ask yourself. For this, I really recommend that you come out to a lifelong friend, someone you've been 
friends with since childhood maybe rather than a friend that you've only really known for a year just because a lifelong friend knows you as a person they know that you have good intentions they might already know that you are inclined to the more spiritual paranormal side of things but then friends that you've only known for a bit they might know about some of your hobbies but they don't really know you deeply as a person and so being like oh by the way i'm into witchcraft this can be like whoa <laughs> that's a bit weird <laughs> if you're thinking of coming out to your family like parents and siblings or guardians then i recommend you do this if you can because it's really not fair on you or them to be constantly hiding things under their noses just in the same house it's kind of rude <laughs> coming out to your family can be quite a rewarding experience and is generally the right thing to do the third main question to ask yourself is how will they react and obviously this isn't something you can know with all certainty and it is probably the reason why you're in the broom closet in the first place so this is ultimately down to their personality and their beliefs about witchcraft but we can generalize people based on their backgrounds and their basic beliefs so i will go through that with you now so atheists or non-spiritual non-religious people coming out to these sort of people is generally not a problem from what i've heard and experienced actually often you can be quite surprised by how much they just don't care obviously you'll get the people who think it's weird illogical pointless a lot of the time you won't actually get slandered or ostracized for being a witch though non-spiritual or non-religious do tend to be quite apathetic towards spirituality and witchcraft but this is not guaranteed obviously it does still depend on people's personalities and their beliefs for highly religious christians or catholics or otherwise religious people from what i have experienced and read on the internet the risks do tend to outweigh the benefits of coming out to these kind of people by no means i don't want to scare you into coming out but but if it is something that you really want to do but you're not sure about coming out to a religious person then it is not recommended this is basically because reactions can be anything from oh okay to you've been tempted by the devil you're going to hell sometimes religious family can be more curious open-minded but sometimes as i experienced people can be quite fearful and closed-minded and they can be quite scared of what you're studying or what you're capable of or basically they're scared of what you'll bring into that home or they might be scared for you if you get a negative reaction then it is your responsibility as a witch and especially if you are a wiccan to be diplomatic non-confrontational and have a mature dialogue with these people i really encourage you to try to maintain a good nature and give witches a good name if you are living with a religious family then i really recommend showing this message to christians who think wiccans are devil worshippers i will link that in the description but basically if you're a wiccan and you're wanting to come out to christians especially then uh, this message contains a very peace-loving, insightful message about Wiccans and what kind of people they are, and it even has a few Bible verses to back a few things up. And it was written by a Christian. I really recommend reading just a, that really lovely message to Christians about any doubts that they might have towards Wiccans. It's also important to remember that you are a witch so you do have magic at your disposal you could always create a sigil that helps your family understand and accept your practices if they really give you a hard time then you could try doing a honey jar spell to sweeten their attitude towards you those are options for you because you are a witch after all So let's move on to 
how to come out. This is mostly up to you, but sometimes you can come out by accident, especially when someone walks in on you doing a ritual or something. This can really present itself as a good time to come clean about your practices. However, if you haven't been preparing to come out and you're not ready for this yet, then this can be your worst nightmare and I certainly understand that from experience. In this case, it is best to come up with a list of excuses beforehand. I've actually made a video on a list of excuses that you can have ready to tell anyone in case someone walks in on you, so please check that video out after watching this one. Sometimes the topic can kind of come up in information and then this is a good opportunity to kind of subtly drop hints. You can kind of respond to a conversation like, like this by being like, oh, I know a thing or two about so and so. So you kind of come out kind of subtly that way by introducing your knowledge on something just whenever it comes up. It is quite uncommon but not unheard of for witches to just come out on their own terms as in gathering the family around, sitting them all down and being like, I'm a witch. I really wish I had the confidence to do that but I do not. <laughs> Most broom closet witches prefer to drop hints slowly over time. Examples of this would be starting to wear a pentacle, doing introductory tarot readings, setting up some sort of permanent altar on display, things like that. I really recommend dropping hints like this because it's a really good gauge of how your family will react to you finding out that you're a full-blown witch. Because if they can't even handle you doing tarot readings then coming out about the other stuff that you do probably isn't going to go down very well. <laughs> the next big thing to think about about coming out is what should you do if people react negatively? We would like to think that the people we're coming out to will be accepting and they'll just get on with their day but this doesn't always happen, obviously. However, I have found this really good blog post called How to Deal with People Who Want to Pray for Your Witchy Soul. This is a really good blog post on handling criticism and what to do if people react negatively to finding out that you're a witch. This lovely lady has said a lot of things that I could never say any better. There are a lot of good ideas in here, so I really highly recommend reading the full blog post after you've watched this video. The link to it will be in the description, of course. The last part of this video is the discussion that you might not ever be able to come out. And that's okay, because it can just be for the best to stay in the broom closet. Not all of us are surrounded by open-minded individuals, unfortunately. In this case, if you're not able to come out, then just aim to be understanding and try to see things from their perspective. Try to understand and reflect on why they are fearful of witchcraft. What have they been taught their entire lives about witchcraft? Remember how long it took you to accept witchcraft and get over your fears of using magic. But the best thing you can do in this situation when you can't come out is to just continue giving witches a good name. This is especially important if you are a Wiccan, as I said. You basically have to be kind, compassionate and tolerant about your lifestyle and your practices. An important thing to remember is that if you are still dependent on and living with your parents, if you're a teen, I really suggest um, respecting your family's rules and boundaries when you're living under their roof. I just reduce your practices to things like basic meditation, grounding and visualization. So these are things that don't cost any money or any tools. So you can just reduce your practices to these subtle things until you can move out and get your own place and then you can be open as a witch. For ideas on subtle practices, I highly recommend watching my video on subtle practices for the most closeted of witches. Remember that you are not alone. A lot of witches are never able to come out and be true to themselves in front of their family, including myself, actually. This doesn't mean that you have to cast yourself out from the family or be the black sheep. There are still other things you can 
bond over. There is nothing about witchcraft or Wicca or paganism that stops you from still participating in your family's traditions or holidays. So the really important thing to remember about having to stay in the broom closet is to not lose sight of the things that are important. Being a witch doesn't change these things. So what is important is spending time with people you love and people who love you. Just because they're unable to accept a part of you, it doesn't mean that you have to turn bitter and sour about them. So that's about all I'm going to cover in this video, but if you really want to find out more details about coming out, then I really recommend reading another blog post, which is definitely well worth the read. I will link that in the description below, but basically it's called Coming Out of the Broom Closet, You're Doing It Wrong. It's just a really uh, kind of lighthearted article about coming out and it's quite insightful. Also for more advice, I really recommend checking out the advice on r slash atheism. I know that's like the total opposite of witchcraft, but honestly if you just replace the word atheism with witch then you get basically the same advice that I've covered in this video. So definitely check that advice out if you're looking for more details or uh, more perspectives. Basically that's pretty much all I've got for you. If you want to find out more about broom closet witchcraft in general then please visit r slash broom closet witch on reddit. If you really enjoyed this video then give it a thumbs up and also share it with other broom closet witches who are thinking about coming out. I really want to help as many broom closet witches as possible so if you can help me out by sharing this video I'd really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it insightful and helpful but with that please stay safe and blessed be.